Hey, it's Opinionated Glenn, and I'm back. When am I back? I'm back the ninth day of September. The month will always remember. Well, hey, sports fans, I just thought of something. They got to come out with Back to the Future 4. Back to the Future 4. Whoa, Hollywood producers will be all over me for this idea. Now, the professor and Marty get in the DeLorean and they head back to the 1700 and something. They make the DeLorean, they park it, and they get this off a submarine. Or they've brought it or something. But they got a submarine. You know how the professor is. This guy can make a tri-level house out of a tin can. Well, anyways, they get in this submarine and they cruise the oceans, looking for uh, people bringing slaves on the slave boats. Well, they torpedo those slave boats, slave boats, boom, blow them out of the water. No slaves headed towards the U.S. Go on to another one, find it, boom, blow that slave boat out of the water. The plantations will have to pick their cotton themselves. But then, they do the same thing over and over and over again until they cut off the supply of the Negroes, the mofos, the future motherfuckers, to the United States. Thus, we would be more prosperous than you can ever imagine. Just think. There would be no welfare. How many mil how many billions is that? If not trillions through the years. How many endless families have been raised on generations and generations of the motherfucking welfare? Then there'd be almost no need for prisons. Ninety nine point nine percent of the prisons are filled with the mofos. I know, there's a very few, very few of the cans. You know, the Mexicans, Dominicans, should be Republicans. And it's just a sprinkling of some of the white assholes, you know, the lowlifes, the tattooed mofo wannabes, you know. There would be hardly any drugs on the streets. You wouldn't need, oh, we'd be putting cops out of work. Well, that's, we'd put the cops on something else. But uh, put on a different detail. Just think, a uh, country with virtually zero crime. Just because Marty and the professor blew these slave ships out of the water. You know... I know you do-gooders are going to be crying, but you just think about it, idiots. The mofos be the downfall of the American way of life. It's so, it's so bullshit and garbage, it, it makes me crazy just thinking about it. Every time I watch cops, the vast majority are of the persuasion. I watch Bait Car. The vast majority of the criminals are of the persuasion. I watch the news. Lootings, shootings, robbery. All of the mofo persuasion. Now, do-gooders, how are you going to talk at me out of this? Are you going to tell me, well, there's a few good ones. Oh, my God. <sighs> One good apple does not ripen the whole rotten bunch. You got it? One good apple means a church-going mofo does not make the whole community good. They're still bad. After 300 years of this bullshit, they haven't learned. They won't learn. They're all still walking around with their pants hanging down their 
shit stained underwear revealed. What the fuck is that? You know. Oh, Jesus. Okay, what I'm saying is Marty and the professor go on a time machine. Eliminate the element. Thus, 300 years later, the United States will be living prosperous if they learn to close the borders and bring our jobs home. Okay, good buddy. It's opinionated Glenn saying 2150. I'll take it myself. 10-4. Good day.